All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you set up the Movement 64 Plus Next Retro Arch Core to run the N64 games on a Nintendo Switch. I'm going to be leaving you two links in the pinned comment of the video. So the first link is going to be for my page. Just scroll down the page until you find the wallpaper of the video. I'm going to be leaving you one link, which is going to be for Retro Arch. I'm also going to be leaving the instructions in the description of the video. So now head over to the RetroArch website, you're going to go over to the download section, you're going to scroll down on the page until you find the Nintendo Switch section, you're going to download the folder, this is going to be a zip folder, you're going to need to unzip it using 7-zip or WinRAR. So now this is going to be the RetroArch folder, you're going to need to create a N64 ROMs folder. With your games there's going to be a switch folder with the nro there's going to be a retro arch folder with a course folder so you're going to scroll down so there's going to be the mupin 64 plus next uh, core now this is going to be the only available core for n64 games so make sure you have the latest build of RetroArch. Now we're going to get over on the Nintendo Switch. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to overclock your Switch for better performance and a little bit of gameplay. Alright guys, now over on the Switch. Uh, so RetroArch needs to run in the full RAM mode. So to do that, you're going to hold the R button. While selecting an official app or a game. Just like that. So now the switch is running in full RAM mode. Now we are going to load up uh, RetroArch. Press A to load it. So first thing we need to do is to um, overclock the switch. So under the main menu. Uh, scroll down where it says CPU overclock. Uh, we are gonna set it to high performance, 1581 megahertz. Now this is the highest you can put your switch. Uh, I would not go any higher or you could cause damage. So we're gonna select it. Now we're gonna go back. Uh, now we are gonna load the core. You're gonna go all the way down until you find the Nintendo section. And then uh, Moopin 64 Plus Next. Press A to select it. Now, so now we are running the core. Now you're going to go to Load Content. SD card. You're going to look for your RetroArch folder. Your ROMs. And then N64 folder. Uh, so we're just going to run a few games. Uh, we are going to start with Mario Kart 64. Uh, so this one uh, has no issues. So it should run well. Now you can remap the buttons if you guys want. It's all preference. Um, I like them how, how they are. So. Yeah, so this one, um, video and audio is really good. I know one of the games that I tested was Star Fox, and uh, that one had issues. So we're gonna we're gonna pause it. Hit the minus button to go back. Uh, now we're gonna load another game. Um, F Zero X. Run. 
Uh, this one plays really well. No issues. Now I haven't checked any uh, compatibility list. Um, so I can't tell you um, how many games work and don't work, but it seems to be working pretty good. I'm going to pause it. We're going to load up another game. Uh, we are going to do Super Mario 64. Run. Um, you can also create uh, game forwarders. Uh, to have the games in the main menu if you want to. So this game uh, plays uh, perfectly as well. Um, I have videos on uh, my channel um, that I've done previously uh, with uh, retro uh, system emulators. If you guys want to check it out uh, for the Switch. So now we're going to go back. So there you go guys, that's how you um, run the N64 games um, on the Nintendo Switch using the Mupin 64 Plus Core. I'm going to be leaving you all links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and on to the next one.